we present Puzzle Avatar that assemble 3D avatars from your personal albums. Recent text-to-avatar methods mainly generate 3D avatars for celebrities or fictional characters, but not for our personalized digital twins. What if a user gets a personalized 3D avatar by just uploading their personal OOTD photos from their albums? It used to be challenging, but now you can do it with Puzzle Avatar. Let's take a look at the settings of previous work. Most of them require images or videos showing the whole body, captured by calibrated cameras, or in simple poses like the A pose or T pose. They do not work for casual album photos. Why do they fail on casual photos? Because those methods rely on off-the-shelf estimators for things like human poses. Meanwhile, they use multiple reprojection losses, including pixel-aligned reconstruction loss, mask loss, landmarks loss, normal loss, and depth loss. All these estimators and losses can only work for highly structured data. But we do care the casual everyday photos, which often contain diverse poses, challenging viewpoints, cropped views, and occlusion. We call this challenging task Album 2 Human. To address this challenge, we propose a two-stage solution. In the first stage, we fine-tune a vision language foundation model to swallow the unstructured data and process them into a structured library. We call this model Puzzle Booth. In the second stage, we distill 3D avatars from Puzzle Booth with shape and color via score distillation sampling, or SDS. After around 10,000 optimization steps, the intrinsic geometric details and texture patterns are recovered. Unlike previous pixel aligned approaches, Puzzle Avatar bypasses all these estimators and reprojection losses, making it as simple as possible. The 3D avatars could be constructed from unstructured data, in any poses, from any views, with any cropping, under any occlusions, without bells and whistles. We refer to this new paradigm as Puzzle Assembled Reconstruction. Here we detail the overview of Puzzle Avatar. In the first stage, unconstrained photo collections are captioned and segmented to generate personalized puzzle pieces, which are then used to train Puzzle Booth. In the second stage, the APOS tetrahedral body mesh, along with its texture, is optimized using multi-view SDS loss. The bottom part illustrates the training details of Puzzle Booth. Both the text encoder and the UNET are fine-tuned using the mask diffusion loss, cross-attention loss, and prior preservation loss. Components marked in light blue color are trainable. We also introduce a new benchmark, Puzzle AOI. Our benchmark includes 41 subjects in nearly 1K OOTD configurations, in challenging partial photos, with paired ground truth 3D bodies and scans. Now let's make some comparisons between Puzzle Avatar and other baselines, including Tech, MV Dream Booth, and Avatar Booth. Compared with Tech, Puzzle Avatar achieves better front back consistency by treating all views equally, whereas Tech processes the front and back differently. It reconstructs the front but imagines the back. As Puzzle Avatar is not dependent on pixel-aligned losses and accurate estimators, it does not show non-human artifacts, which Tech has. For similar reasons, Puzzle Avatar excels in separating shirt stripes compared to Tech. In the top right corner, we show a typical example of flawed normal maps, the strips are baked onto the geometry. As Tech takes this normal as input, no wonder we see the stripes on the reconstructed surface. We also compare Puzzle Avatar with MV Dream Booth, it's obvious that Puzzle Avatar could recover more intricate geometric details and textures. Avatar Booth suffers from oversaturation in texture and always produces cartoon-like characters, while Puzzle Avatar could produce realistic ones. Here we show ablation results on Puzzle Avatar. Detailed prompts can introduce biases that conflict with the original identity. For instance, specifying an oval face can mislead the generation process and produce low-quality faces. In another example, the introduction of the term short haircut alters the original hair colors. This suggests that the detailed description may conflict with our learned tokens due to guidance collapse.
synthetic data significantly improves the reconstruction quality in both geometry and texture. Without this prior, the diffusion model fine-tuned only on RGB input images will produce broken outputs, for instance, a body without limbs. Similarly, the synthetic prior-free model produces textureless outputs. Finally, let's take a look at the failure cases of Puzzle Avatar. Puzzle Avatar may fail in preserving the identity due to hallucination of Puzzle Booth. However, its outcome still appears realistic. Hallucinations can occasionally result in incorrect garment types. Here we show an example, where the long coat is changed to a short coat by mistake. Here we show another example of hallucination. In the reconstruction result, the black pants appear under the white coat. Although realistic, it differs from the original input that includes no pants. Since Puzzle Avatar relies on DMTET as 3D representation, it may struggle to accurately model thin structures such as hat brims. The common issue of guidance collapse in large vision language models can incorrectly mix up the colors of clothes and pants. Here we show some applications of Puzzle Avatar. Since Puzzle Avatar is a compositional method, it lets us easily interchange tokens to customize avatars and perform virtual try-on with a consistent avatar identity. With Puzzle Avatar, we can also perform text-guided editing. By simply altering the garment category in the text prompt, we can redress the person with another type of garment. Thanks for watching.